Hello friends, I am Naval Yamul, working as the assistant professor in mechanical engineering department, Walchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. In this video, we are going to see operators used in Python. Learning outcomes. At the end of this session, students will be able to understand about different operators used in Python. Content, input function in Python, output function. Then we are going to see what are the operators, arithmetic operator, relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, and assignment operators. Taking input in Python, developers often have a need to interact with users either to get data or to provide some sort of result. Most programs today use a dialog box as a way of asking the user to provide some input type of input while Python provides us with inbuilt function to read input from the keyboard. So the function is input in bracket prompt. So input, this function first takes the input from the user and then evaluates the expression which means Python automatically identifies whether user entered a string or a number or a float or a list. If the input provided is not correct then either syntax error or expectation is raised by Python. For example, if I take a variable called val equal to input, then enter your value, print val, output function. The simplest way to produce output is using print function, where you can pass zero or more expressions separated by commas. This function converts the expression you pass into a string before writing to the screen. So for showing the output we use the function print. We will see in detail in the coming slides. So we will see what are the operators. First is arithmetic operator. Second is relation, relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators and assignment operators. Arithmetic operators. <clears throat> so just pause the video for a few seconds and list down the arithmetic operators you know. Okay. So let us see what are the arithmetic operators. So arithmetic operators are used to perform mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So this table shows in the first column like addition plus sign add addition that is adds two operands, subtraction that is minus symbol then subtracts two operands and on the third column it is shown here the syntax for addition it is showing suppose there are two variables x and y we use plus sign for addition minus sign for subtraction and asterisk symbol for multiplication and a slash sign for division and person symbol for to get the remainder suppose if I have two numbers and if you want to return a remainder then we use a person symbol and power for power we are using two asterisk signs which returns the first raise to power second. So x raise to y so for that we are using a sim syntax called x double asterisk y. So table 1 shows the arithmetic operators. So let us see a example and understand this arithmetic operators. So 
I have taken a variable called a equal to 9 and b equal to 4 then I have taken one more variable add then I have want to do the addition of these two numbers that is a plus b and subtraction of two numbers that is a minus b then multiplication followed by division then modulus modulus is nothing but getting a reminder when you divide 9 by 4 whatever reminder you get that is uh, shown in the percentage symbol then we use power a double asterisk b that is a raised to b and if you want to print or if I want to calculate this all I need to use a print function so printing a result I get print I go for addition here then print I want subtraction print multiplication then division then print modulus and printing p so our output will be like adding these two numbers then subtracting these two numbers multiplying multiplication of these two numbers division and taking the modulus that is remainder 9 divided by 4 the remainder will be 1 and the power that is 9 raised to 4 you get 6 5 6 1 so this was a simple example to show you the how arithmetic operators work second is relation op relational operators relational operators compare the values it either returns true or false according to the condition so this table shows you the relational operators so there are three columns again first is symbol or operator description and the syntax so this is greater than symbol so here there are two variables again or we are comparing between x and y so if x is greater than y it shows the output as true or it shows false this is less than symbol and for equal to we are using equal to two times equal to equal to and for not equal to exclamation mark and equal to and greater than equal to and this symbol is for less than or equal to so this is the syntax so we'll understand in the next slide with an example of relational operators so here I have taken A and B A as 13 B as 33 then I have directly used the output function print A is greater than B it, show, it must show the output as false if A is less than B if A is equal to B is A not equal to B a greater than or equal to b a less than or equal to b so the output will show you like this the first statement is false and second is true because a is less than b that is 13 is less than 33 you get true and uh, a and b are not equal so it shows you false then it shows you true here greater than it's false and here true So next we will see what is logical operators. Logical operators perform logical and logical or and logical not operations. So in this table 3 it shows the logical operators and we are using the operators like and or and not logical and it shows true if both the operands are true, true if either of the operand is true logical not it shows true if operand is false so the syntax is x and y here x or y and not x so we'll understand with a simple example a is equal to true and b equal to false print a and b print a or b and not a so here a and b the result is false a or b so any of this should be true that is true and not a so a is already true it shows the opposite that is false so last we will see what is bitwise operators so bitwise operator acts as on bits and perform bits by bit by bit operation so this table shows you the bitwise operators and or not xor 
bitwise right shift, bitwise left shift. So the syntax is X and Y, X or Y, not X, X raised to or par Y that is used for X or then X right shift and X left shift. So bitwise is basically used to perform bit by bit operation. So here I have taken A value as 10, B value as 4 and used all the operations like AND, OR, NOR, XOR, greater than and less than. So the output for this program will be 0, 14, minus 11, 14, 2 and 40. So these are the references I have used. Thank you.